Hello, I'm Neat Reader, Program Director of the Entrepreneurs Access Network, a business accelerating and always on learning community for Black and Latino entrepreneurs. I'm joined today by Bill Gaskin, the Vice President of Entrepreneurship at the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation. EY and the Kaufman Foundation both believe deeply in supporting entrepreneurs and providing them with resources, support, and networks to grow their business and achieve their dreams. Philip, thank you for speaking with me today. On behalf of all of us at EY, we're grateful for your support of entrepreneurs whose innovations shape and transform our culture, society, and economy. To get us started, why is entrepreneurship so important to you and to the work you lead at the Kaufman Foundation? Thank you, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. The last five years, uh, we know that the research shows that most new jobs in the United States come from businesses five years old or younger. And that's important to know for our national economy as well as for, for local economies. You know, entrepreneurship can help spur innovation and can help individuals reach financial mobility. Uh, you know, for me personally, I'm the son of an entrepreneur. Right? I, I, I watched my dad and, and the, the grit that he had and the hard work that he put forward. He was passionate about creating a business for himself that could serve others and serve the community. So uh, passionate about entrepreneurship and uh, will always, always will be. Wow, well, that is awesome. I too come from a history of entrepreneurs. My grandfather was actually the first black owned business in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. So it's good to know that we have some similarity there on um, why entrepreneurship is so important to us. Um, so bringing us to the to present day, because we know we have entrepreneurship in our history, how would you describe the current state of entrepreneurship in our country? Well, I'd say despite um, popular and perhaps media perspective, we've actually been in a decades long slump in entrepreneurship. But in 2020, last year, during a global pandemic, we saw Americans start businesses at historic rates. And while the rate of new entrepreneurs is the highest it's been in that 25 years, in the midst of widespread unemployment, many people are starting those businesses out of necessity rather than by choice. Now, sometimes it's not a, a fully bad thing. Sometimes out of necessity, you create, you create something that's an amazing idea. Um, but we are watching those new business rates and how the community leaders and policymakers and all of us can help support entrepreneurs. You know, coming out of um, the Great Recession, we had a number of new uh, companies that are very um, popular today that started up with out of necessity. So um, we're uh, we're interested to see how it goes. Thank you so much for sharing that because the entrepreneur ecosystem at, is why we're making so much investment in our ecosystem here at EY and are so proud to team with organizations like yourself. We often reference our, our system as the entrepreneur ecosystem, a network of peers, customers, and investors that can strengthen our, our, our entrepreneurs' go-to-market approach. Um, from your perspective, what are some of the ways that each of us can better support entrepreneurs beyond just like peers and customers? Well, strengthening the entrepreneurs and the ecosystem is, is so important. I see there's really four major ways that we can all rally, rally behind entrepreneurs. And each of us can help open up access to opportunity, access to funding, access to knowledge, access to support. The key word is access in, in all of that. You know, all entrepreneurs face these systemic barriers. And we know that entrepreneurs of color, women entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in rural America, can be hit especially hard with these type of systemic barriers. So access to knowledge you know, is important, um, one that organizations like Kaufman and, and EY can support. There's no manual for when you're, you know, there's no own your owner's manual when you're starting a, starting a company. So you're gonna need quality education. What's quality education, mentorship, leadership programs that can help entrepreneurs succeed are so important. And finally, I'd say that building entrepreneurial experiences in high school, those real world experiences can help students start to envision entrepreneurship in their future, you know, helping get that pipeline started earlier. I go back to the story about 
about my dad and, and watching him. And I go back and realize I didn't have those real world learning experiences or even know much about even the word entrepreneurship to much later in life. So it's a number of things that we can do. Uh, we say it's a team sport in supporting on and on supporting entrepreneurs. I agree with you. Um, th that access to information and resources is so important to our entrepreneurs. And I really like the fact that you talk about it being important from the early stages of even as far as high school. That's why I think programs that EOI does with NIFTY, um, and then we also have junior achievement programs like that, really encouraging um, young entrepreneurs. Um, that's why we chose the word access to our program name, underscoring the value of learning and networking. How does Kaufman connect entrepreneurship with the knowledge they need to be successful? What we're doing as a foundation as a whole is working towards systemic change through entrepreneur-focused economic development, as we call it. For entrepreneurs, the Kaufman Fast Track program uh, provides access to knowledge, those tools and resources and other networks necessary to start and grow a business. And Fast Track is available to all entrepreneurs, regardless of race, regardless of geography, regardless of gender. You know, you don't need a college degree or a background in business or entrepreneurship to access the curriculum of Fast Track. You don't even need to have a fully formed business idea, but you can go to it to learn. It's a guide to help you refine your idea, turn it into a reality. And you can do this on your own terms. You can learn online in a, in a self-paced way, or you can learn in a classroom setting with peers. And so entrepreneurs and community members can also come together in another way uh, with Kaufman, and it's through meeting meetups like One Million Cups. Now, what One Million Cups is, it's an entrepreneur presentation program that gives entrepreneurs and community members an opportunity to give each other support, encouragement, and feedback over a cup of coffee. And uh, so One Million Cups is in 160 plus communities across the country and is open to anybody who wants to attend and share ideas and learning uh, and learnings in a supportive, inclusive environment. So we create these ways, again, access again, much access as possible for everyone, no matter, where they, no matter where they may be, in order to take that idea and turn it into reality. That is awesome. And that is one of the reasons why I absolutely am so honored that um, Kaufman Foundation is teaming with Entrepreneurs Access Network. We're le leveraging the Fast Track program and your commitment to zero barriers to helping all entrepreneurs is actually you know, amplify through the program like Fast Track, which is either facilitated or online. Philip, I just want to thank you so much for speaking with me today and, and sharing the value of entrepreneurship, um, what you guys are doing. If there's one message or one thing you'd like to leave with uh, someone sitting at home right now with a big idea, but not knowing what to do, what would it be? Know that it's, you could be sitting in that room alone and going, this is really hard. What do I do? Believe in yourself. We believe in you. America needs you to take that idea and move it into reality. And we're going to be here to support you as much as possible. Thank you, Philip. This is awesome. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks for having me.